when you heard about this terrorist, because that's what he is, a terrorist, and this is what a terrorist looks like. This is what we've become, guys, the foam of the sea. Do we want to stay like this? No. We want to improve, we want to elevate, we want to level up. I wonder if the media is not calling him a terrorist because he's white or because he's not a Muslim. Like you gotta understand, you gotta share these videos. Don't forget mine, don't share mine, share someone else's video, right? But you gotta share these videos because this is Muslim media. This is the Muslim narrative of what's happening. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, the tide is a little high today. Take a look at that. The tide is a little high today. And what's interesting about this tide, guys, is that it changes each day. Each day you've seen my video, the tide has either fallen way behind or come up forward. And this is an analogy of life. Some days are going to feel like you're drowning. Some days are going to feel like you're swimming. Either way, it's going to happen and we got to do something about it. As long as we rely on Allah, as long as we put Allah first, like this is going to happen all the time. But putting your trust in Allah allows you to deal with your circumstances, the situation in a more positive manner. Because you know that this, uh, this masiba, this issue, this problem hasn't come about without the permission of Allah. So knowing that it came with the permission of Allah, that means there's some betri in it, some khayr in it, some barakah in it, some goodness in it. Even if you can't see it right now, there's some goodness about what you're going through right now. So don't lose hope. Don't give up hope. Let's get into this video right now, okay? If you're anything like me, when you heard about this terrorist, because that's what he is, a terrorist, and this is what a terrorist looks like, right? Um, if you're anything like me, when you heard this news... Um, and the build-up, I'm just thinking, please don't let it be a Muslim, please don't let it be a Muslim, please don't let it be a Muslim. They didn't even say the name yet. I'm like, oh, don't let it be like Abdul Farooq something, you know, like don't, please don't let it be a Muslim. And I think secretly, we all rejoiced when we found out it was a Did we not? Obviously, you know, for those who are harmed um, or hurt uh, or the families that have experienced some type of pain or trauma due to this, uh, our love and support goes out to them. But for one, seeing that it's not us, and not for once, it happens a lot of the times, right? Um, we, we get low-key excited, like, all right, it was a white dude. All right, now let's see if the media is going to address this. Hmm. I wonder if the media is not calling him a terrorist because he's white or because he's not a Muslim. Because I can promise you, if he was a Mexican, they would have been trying to build a wall already. If he was black, they would have been telling you why, you know, uh, you know, you see, this is what black people do, you know? If it was a Muslim, it would have been a rap, right? Like, we would have been on a different level of terror security. We all would have known about the name. The media, the marketing, the newspapers sell more when it's a Muslim. It's in their best interest to set up Muslims. Why is it? Watch this video over here about uh, the iPad, quizzing strings for an iPad, the first one I ever did, where the guy talks about his friend was framed by the FBI. They're the ones... They're the ones that make you radicalize and then they catch you and be like, ah, oh, he was a radical. But you radicalized him. You radicalized this person. These people who ISIS target, even Hassanat, when they target people like this, these are weak-minded, soft-minded, impressionable types of people. Oftentimes with mental, uh, like mental problems, they're disturbed mentally. And they target such people on these online chat groups and all that sort of stuff. But I want you to know that these things are real. There are Muslims who believe in this agenda. There is an ISIS, whether it's set up by the CIA or the FBI or something, that's a different story. But these things exist. The, you know, and, and the craziest thing about the munafiqs of the time of the Messenger, وسلم, at least, was that they all looked like Muslim. They would come in front of you and be like, of course we believe in Islam, of course we believe in this. But when they would go with their partners, when they go with their friends and their privacy behind their closed doors, they were like, please, we would never believe in this. Right? And that's what Surah Baqarah, the opening verses and the first 20 verses is all about. It's about hypocrisy. It's about how people are one way in front of you, but they're another way behind you. So the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is that you got you got to remember something that there's certain people here that they're munafiks they they look like a muslim but their job is to only infiltrate the muslims and to take this and i'm not supposed to i'm not trying to make you scared i don't want you to be all of a sudden paranoia and just everything is like a uh, it's like a little you know conspiracy theory no 
there's real radicals out there, there are, who have manipulated the Quran to use it as a bullet to, to make people, you know, hate certain classes of people. If you're someone who doesn't like other people of different faiths and other, or something like that, you're probably someone that they could target. You're, you're showing signs of extremism. And that's not who Muslims are. A Muslim is not extreme. We're extremely kind. We're extremely passionate. We're extremely energetic. We're extreme when it comes to feeding the poor. We're extreme when it comes to, you know, taking care of our parents, being kind to them, being good to them. We're extreme. But when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, doing harm in the world, we're not extreme in those regards. That's not what Muslims are about. You know what I mean? And I think that we all are seeing in the media, and hopefully other people are seeing also, uh, the biased nature of the media. But I don't want you to make, I don't want to make you feel as if that is the, the stake. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, Fox News or whatever major media might not be talking about it. But what about these media platforms? These are media platforms. This platform that you're watching right now is a media platform. And it is up to you to share these videos or not. These are media. This is Muslim media. Right? When Brother Ali makes a video, Brother Zishan makes a video, when Brother Hijab makes a video, you know, or, or any, any Muslim brother of ours who are making videos that are on the huck, you know what I mean? Or making videos, even if you don't like their old stuff, at least you like this video of theirs when it comes to talk about topics like this. Like, you gotta understand, you gotta share these videos. Not forget mine, don't share mine, share someone else's video, right? But you gotta share these videos because this is Muslim media. This is the Muslim narrative of what's happening. And if we don't share these uh, narratives, then these people who aren't Muslim are gonna paint whatever narrative they want. Want. They're going to post it together and they have a lot more money, a lot more reach, a lot more resources than uh, YouTubers such as myself, medias such as myself. Um, and they're just going to distort the image of Islam. So it's our responsibility to fix that image uh, by sharing these videos and making these videos, this, these media channels, forget my media channel, but other media channels, other Muslim Islamic media channels, the highest. So that, you know, when we post out things that could go trending on YouTube, why not? Why can't it? You know, it can be. It just requires all of us to, you know, collectively come together and do our thing. I love you all for the sake of Allah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you enjoy a little bit of these waves before I cut this off. It's very, very close. That's why I can't walk around. But let's listen to some of the sounds. Let's get some air, some our vibes. Yeah, I liked it the first time. And of course, I'm in a wonderful mood right now because my Phoenix Suns won last night. You can see him. You can see him. Phoenix Suns won last night, guys. You already know. D-Book didn't cook. CP3 didn't cook. Got some assist in there, but my man Cam Johnson, Mikel Bridges doing their thing. Let's get it. Phoenix Suns, Valley Boys. All right, let's go. Let's listen to some ASMR. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Recite some Quran while you're listening to it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And if we don't stick together, support each other, if we don't do all these things together, no one else is. And Muslims end up becoming like the foam of the sea. This is the foam of the sea. This is what Muslims have become. This is what we've become, guys, the foam of the sea. Do we want to stay like this? No. We want to improve. We want to elevate. We want to level up. And the only way we could do that is by sticking together. Sticking together, guys. Otherwise, we're going to get crushed phone with the sea we're gonna get crushed i love you all for the sake of allah um yeah this is this is i hope you guys are enjoying these videos and this is a much shorter video than my usual i hope alhamdulillah um check out some of my other videos or don't check them out i think equally we're both okay uh and until next time i'm out